Hi, I'm Efia Kimura, a travel content creator based in Ghana. I share my travel experience, no matter how or what, for others to base on when they find themselves in the same situation. In one of my previous videos, I shared my experience flying from Kumasi to Accra using African World Airline. And in today's video, I'm going to share the same experience, but different. This time around, I'm flying with Passion Air. There are two airlines that fly from Kumasi to Accra, African World Airline and Passion Air. This video is strictly based on my experience, so take note. If you still don't know how to book a flight that is domestic flight, you can check one of my pinned videos and you are going to find that one. There you continue from here. After booking my flight with Passion Air, they sent my flight itinerary through my email and also sent it through SMS. But African World Airline did it only through my email. There's another difference between these two airlines. On my boarding day, African World Airline sent me an email like uh, hours before my boarding time reminding me that i have a flight to catch but passion Air didn't send any email but i would say who will forget that he or she has a flight to catch anyway maybe i got there in time for check-in i used my ghana card if you're not a ghanaian you can use your passport so they asked me if i have any liquid substance in my bag that's perfume deodorant or any other liquid substance and i said yes so they told me to take out my laptop then check in my backpack mind you you only have 25 kg baggage allowance Once i have liquid substance in my bag i have to take out, take out my laptop then send my bag to the checking in so that i go with my laptop to board the airplane but that didn't happen the last time i used african world airline they asked me do you have liquid substance i said yes and they didn't take it out of my bag but this one i'm taking it out of my bag anyway if i get to the boarding gates that's why you're going to pass through the security checks and screening no matter the type of shoe you're putting on you're going to take it off when it's time for boarding they're going to announce it for you to go through the boarding gate the boarding gate number is always on your boarding ticket the boarding has the same process they're going to check your ticket then you get to a bus this bus is going to take you to where the airlines are parked the same process goes on here they're going to check your tickets before you get to the airplane then direct you to your seat as usual an air hostess is going to take you through the safety measures this time it was a man before the plane takes off they're going to announce it to put off phone on flight mode and off all gadgets this is the difference between these two flights african world and passion air when it's taking off with passion air you're going to feel it it's very scary Indeed, the reviews I read didn't lie. It is what it is. If you have any experience, you can leave it in the comment section below. But when it gets into the air, it's quite normal. Is that not a leg bosom train? I guess this is leg bosom train, right? So same thing here. They don't serve anything else except this cutie bottled water. It's just less than 40 minutes flight. It's landing and taking off has the same experience. They are like twins. Feeling here the same. Glory be to God, we landed safely, but not peacefully to me. When you land, a bus is going to take you from the plane to the airport building as usual. Then when you check your bag in, you go in for your bag. After taking your bag, they are going to check whether your ticket is matching the tickets on your bag. Then you are free to go. We are in Accra. Accra, we are here again, okay? This time around, we feel with passion. Hey, Charlie, you're so. Hey, we're here to my experience a mood to a air home a more land dear air home you know choose your flight well or choose your airline well i booked in advance and it cost me 900 Ghanaian cities if there is any time they mention can leave it in the comment section below don't forget to follow for more travel tips